started in 2002 and supposedly they had this agreement with Dartmouth but they don't really go um, according to the American system that you know of the definition of liberal arts although they claim to so we had um, like the health and fitness classes that, that you were supposed to take them as a, an undergrad student and you have the book we do everything and we skip the sexual education chapter uh, yeah, they just cross it and the professor goes like I'm really sorry I really think this is stupid but that's the rules you know we, we cross it and if you're someone curious you will read it by itself and you know know some information oh no actually end of middle school they start talking to us about the operation of sex and um, it's presented so uh, scientifically and um, we're not supposed to ask for any details uh, there's this uh, social taboo for it and we just think it's all of us the students we're thinking it's a, such an embarrassing subject to talk about and we didn't know why the school was telling us about the process of sex mm -hmm. um, it's just like a one lesson thing and you just understand nothing about sex over there and all what we know is that sex is just a pregnancy process that you do when you're married that's the way we define sex back home I think I did talk with my mother uh, I had some questions I had a, a good friendship with her so uh, so I didn't hesitate to ask about certain things that didn't make sense to me or were just too like absurd I guess <laughs> about sex because Kuwait is one of the very Americanized countries especially after the role of the United States in um, liberating Kuwait um, from the Iraqi invasion so you see like there is a lot like there are lots of signs of um, capitalism you know food chains um, we watch a lot of American movies we uh, study in America a lot of us and um, we listen to the music that Americans must listen to like especially hip-hop and so people in my generation they know a lot about sex and a lot of them do dare to practice it even before getting married but no one so far has challenged the society no one thought you know I should break the taboo and I should come out and talk about my sexual identity and the need to um, you know have the right to live with someone you're like what is called in in the west a partner you know live with someone and or just have you know sex in general um no one dares so we do it like must there are lots of people of, of this generation they they do it secretly um and it just uh, makes us more hypocrites in the society we just you know pretend to be someone in reality with someone else um, it, it creates a clash of identity and we need to cope up with what society wants us and at the same time fulfill our human needs that's what's going on <laughs>